Hello and welcome back to Rustic Waters. So at the end of the at the end of the last episode, we had a bit of a problem. Uh, one of the mods um, deleted all the items that were laying free on the ground, and one of those was the tailor's workbench, what I'm holding in my hand right now, and there was no way I could make another one, so I had to cheat one in. Um, so let me show you. I went into mod options and it was the world primer here and I went to config. I'm showing you this in case uh, you ever need it. So I noticed under timed commands here, this were all the commands which were killing items and so on. So if you go up to toggles, I've set that to off and I'm hoping that means it won't happen again. Um, so we'll keep an eye on my chat. And if we don't ever see that message again, we should be okay. Um, this was me testing. In order to get these, I had to turn on cheat modes because by default, um, escape, if you go here and go turn on cheat mode in JEI, it says you do not have permission. So I had to use an NBT editor to edit the the world.dat file for this save in order to allow commands temporarily so I could load in, give myself a new tailor's bench, and then I um, saved and quit again and I've re edited it so cheat modes are off. So at least it's not going to be easy to do, you know. Um, I'm only going to use it if something like that happens, which would have just ended the run as far as I can tell. You know, if there's a way I could have made that mesh thing, let me know. <laughs> but so I will put one of those down there, and the rest of these <laughs> we are going to throw off the edge where in five minutes they will despawn because that's how long items are supposed to hang around, not be taken out by. By commands just because you've left it on the ground temporarily. Right. Um, so yeah, so this is showing the the toolbox because it's connected to both of them. So I can just throw all the tools in there and that will now work. Right. Let us get back to this. Uh, apparently I have completed a quest. Yes, tool tool refilling. Mechanical toolbox complete. I don't think I got those rewards yet, though, did I? Probably because I got distracted by everything. Pick you up using the axe. Okay, I've got the steel axe. Oh, it was a choice. Ah. Choice reward. I could only get one of them. Uh, I'd have probably gone for the hopper, to be honest. Because I could have put that and some chests underneath my, um, my nets. Oh, well. I'll have to watch out for that in future. Um, I've got a steel axe now, I guess. Uh, not that I'm chopping any trees at the moment or anything. Right, mechanical toolbox. Take all the tools. Onwards. Hopefully. Right, um, license to kiln sounds good, although I'm not quite so sure how we're going to do it. Now you are pulling in all resources, you will want a quicker way to process them. Craft up, craft an upgraded furnace. Though this quest only requires a copper furnace, you can upgrade it even further as desired. So copper is 20% faster, iron is 40% faster, but does more fuel. Then it goes silver, gold, and prismarine, which can smelt two different things at once. And you're going to give me a load of mini charcoal as a reward. All right, so how do I make a copper furnace? So I can upgrade my normal furnace, but I need the copper ingots. All right. 
So how do I get copper ingots? I know it's going to be via sifting, but will you give me some idea as to what the most efficient way is? Copper ingots. Oh, there's like four different types. So smelting normal stuff. Well, that's just smelting copper ore. That's no good. I don't have any copper ore. Copper grit. Engineer's hammer on copper ore. Copper dust, copper chunks. Hmm. Now that shows like an industrial sieve. Copper rocky chunk. Did I end up with any copper? Okay, copper rocky chunks. Can I just smelt these? I can. But should I be sieving them? Can they be sieved? Not in a sieve that I currently own. Right, so I think I need to sluice some more gravel. That's the eight I need. I am probably going to need more. Gravel, dirt, sand. I want to get out the bulky stuff, make sure these things keep running. Hmm, lots of sugar cane. That's nice. Some money and arrows. It doesn't take too long. I remember having to stand there with the manual um, sieving machines in some of the other packs. In fact, you can get a whole load of these going. I bet you can probably set hoppers up above to feed in the um, feed in the stuff too. There you go. So that's plenty of copper there now. But this is the eight I need to upgrade this thing. Always make sure there's a green tick. Copper furnace. Claim our mini charcoal. Let's put this back down here. This thing can hold more than one thing. It said only the Prismarine did that. Right. What's next? Um, okay. Tired of running to the water hole for each bucket of purified water, a funnel will automatically siphon water from the tank placed above it and fill empty buckets seated, uh, sitting in an attached chest. You can then hopper the buckets from the from the chest into a furnace to make purified water and out the other side. Tip the golden bucket can smelt four buckets of water into purified water at once in a furnace. Interesting. So funnels are a bucket and some extra iron. And the tank is a bucket and a little bit of more iron. Okay, well, how much iron do we already have? 23 chunks of iron. Okay, 
so you will only take one uh, one thing at, um, at a time at the moment. Let us keep sifting, I think. We are obviously getting into the metal heavy part of the mod. Let's actually start sieving something else as well, because odds are... Where did my bucket go? Don't do that, you need your bucket. Odds are we're going to need the stuff from these other things sooner or later. You can strain a stack of stuff nice and quickly. Ooh, that, got, that got me some lead then. And let's do a stack of the dirt as well. Nice, lots more iron. Now, I might not want to process all of this because sometimes there's a more efficient way of processing ores that sort of comes up later. So let's actually just leave it at the 20 for now. So, I needed two buckets for the things I'm making. That gets me a funnel, which looks remarkably like a hopper. And then a tank. Now, the way it's talking, it makes you think that you're going to want... Can the funnel go inside sideways? It can. Let me claim that. Get the golden bucket. All right. A funnel will automatically siphon water from the tank placed above it and fill empty buckets sitting in an attached chest. You can then hopper the buckets from the chest oh, into a furnace to make purified water and out the other side. Okay. So you would need a slightly different setup than I've got here. Pickaxe picks both of them up. I'm assuming I'm going to need lots of purified water in a bit. So I would actually need a hopper if I wanted to actually do that. Golden bucket. It holds four water. Nice. Right, what have we got here? Um, grinding it out. The grindstone will assist you in making alloy blends. It requires a crank in the top um, and must be turned manually, but it will suffice until you get powered automation. Okay, so what do I need to make a grindstone? Some stone, a tripwire hook, and an artisan's flint handsaw. Okay, tripwire hook I can do. Um, is there a way to go back? It would be useful if I could go back one step rather than always dropping all the way to there. And the artisan's handsaw requires two flints. Am I getting flint? I am not getting flint, but can I get flint the old-fashioned way? up some gravel. Yes, I can. Oh, I've got 
troll flint. <laughs> I bet I'm getting flint from uh, from that thing. <laughs> I thought it was charcoal. I'm also getting coal from somewhere. Nice. Um, let's put the charcoal, coal, and most of the flint up there. Right, can I make that thing? Um, grindstone. Oh yeah, there's a thing, which is... um. If I'm looking at something here, I notice this thing down here. It says hover over an ingredient, press A to bookmark it. So if I do that, because I, you know, because I need one of them, I need one of them, and I need one of them, they appear up here. So now when I open this, I can go, right, well, I need a tripwire hook. So that's some iron planks. There we go. And as soon as I've done that one, I can just press A and it goes away. And a handsaw and the grindstone. Needs the stone. Make sure these things don't fill up. Rat pelts. Hmm. Ice, ice. Why are they not stacking? I've got room for any of that in my inventory. Let me grab it. I think I put all the stone away. I'm still relatively low on stone. That makes me a grindstone. And it's going to give me the wooden crank. Claim. Out of interest, can I make a wooden crank in case I lose it? Oh, wow. That was a great reward, wasn't it? I suppose it was treated sticks. All right. Um... Grindstone. There we go. So this will let me make alloy blends. Some pipe it hot. Pipettes can be used to remove or add fluid to artisan's tables, even if it is not a full bucket. Convenient for swapping out recipe fluids without waste. If you don't care about saving the fluid in the table, you can also sneak click the fluid GUI to empty it. Okay, oh, you're going to give me a treasure chest. Treasure chest, what could be inside? All right, so you want me to make a pipette. All right, so let's bookmark that. Get rid of those ones. And it needs glass. Well, that's just cooking sand, right? Yeah. Give me some... Okay, I already had a load of sand by the look of it. We'll make 12 glass. Oh, that, that's nice. You put in something else there and it moved that over to there. So that could start cooking straight away. I quite like that. So the recipe for a pipette was... Oh, okay. A bit of glass and two glass panes, so I'm going to need eight bits of glass in total. So I put in enough. Right, while we're waiting for that to cook, is there anything else we want to do? Um, I think I just want to finish this off because then I get to unlock my first expansion, which opens up one of these side walls. Is there a particular wall I want to open up? Here, I think. I'll push this wall back, because that way it's, it's near the entrance, it's near my bed and the storage. 
That's eight bits of glass. Use six to make some panes. And then I will make a pipette. One pipette. Claiming a treasure chest. Right, does this get, like, put down? Or does it just open? Um... What do I do with the treasure chest? <laughs> I don't know how to open it. What do I do with the treasure chest? <laughs> um... Left click. Oh, okay, right click. A rat upgrade platter. Rat will transfer entire stacks of items at a time. Let's examine this sentence for a moment. Rat will transfer entire stacks of items at a time. Rat. Are we going to have little rats working for us? And a nickel gear. Okay. Carry weight 64. I don't know what that means. All right, let's put those safe. And pump it up. While there is no infinite water machines available at this stage of the game, you can use the water pump to help in your automations. Place it right above a body of water and use a lever to give uh, to give it a redstone signal. It will fill adjacent tanks. Hmm. Tip. Fluid dials can be slapped on the front of most fluid containers to give you information at a quick glance. Right. Um, stone gear, tempered glass, and some lead. Well, I've got I've got some lead. Stone gears are easy. I know how to make funnels, but it does look like it has to be tempered glass. So how am I making tempered glass? Ooh, the flint and steel thing again. out of compressed sand. Well, the compressed sand is, is easy enough. But I never worked out how to get this going, did I? Right. I'm determined to expand my base before I end this episode. Right, if we get nine sand, make this compressed sand, get the flint and steel, bucket of normal water in case of accidents. Okay. Right, that didn't work. So let's try it the other way, because it's only nine bits of sand. If I light a fire and then throw this in. That did it. Okay. Right. Did not work the way I expected, but it does work. So presumably that will get me my thing that will let me make lava. Yeah, I just need to throw that into purified water and I get lava. Okay, that, that means I may have 
a cobblestone generator um, ready for the next episode. That way I don't have to worry uh, worry about running out of stone. Right, I need to make a water pump. For lead. in the trader's workshop. All right, and it says you put this directly above water. And it will draw it into an adjacent tank. Oh, there's the fluid dial. can use the water pump to help in automations. Place it right above a body of water and use a lever to give it a redstone signal. It will fill adjacent tanks. Fluid dials can be slapped on the front of most fluid containers. Can I make more fluid dials? Yes, I can. With a bit of silver, they're not too difficult to make either. Zero of a thousand, right. It needs a lever, which is a stick and a bit of cobble. Oh, look at that. So there's a little Arch Archimedes screw that fills it up. And then it says it will fill an adjacent tank. So is that filling? I think it is, yes. All right, I'm going to have to experiment with how to best set this up. But at least we know it works. So this is staying at 1600 water, presumably because it's all ending up in there. I'm wondering whether or not I can move a tank and retain its water. Because that way you could fill a tank, take it off there, move it somewhere else. Because I think you need to put one of those water funnels underneath the tank if you want to do the auto bucket filling. However, we can now do the first expansion. It is important that you overcome any hesitation to venture into the water. Get your feet wet right now collecting some coral from the ocean floor. For being so brave, you will receive your first hub expansion key. Further keys can be, can be obtained when you complete the quest tabs noted with bracket key. Tip, remember each, each HEC key is a one-time use. Select the wall which you would like to expand out from and right-click the lock with your key. Orange, pink and cyan. I already have orange and pink, so I just need some cyan coral. Right, let's get the sword. Um, let's dump stuff I don't need to take with me. We'll leave a load of the arrows as well. All right, so what color is that that I need? Cyan. Okay, so that's full of water. So if I go up to it, I can take that out with a pickaxe. The question is, is will this still be full of water? No. I 
that. I'm not sure how useful that is in the long run. Anyway, let's get this cyan thing. So we're looking for something blue. That's probably it here. Yep, there we go, cyan. Get a breath of air, then I'm just going to grab the stuff from in here. Because again, I don't want these to fill up. Like this one almost was. There we go, our first key. Right, um... As I said, I think I'm going to extend this back so I can sort of try and get a proper a proper production area. We'll leave the middle for, like, sleeping, storage, for Chilly Willy, and if we need to grow any trees. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that did not go as I expected. Is that glass? That's glass. We've got a nice big room. And it's just lit up by torches at the moment. Nice. This is a nice amount of space in, in here. I can build tall machines. Okay, good progress made, I think. Um, shame about the um, that thing which forced us to do a small temp temporary cheat. We'll try and get these ones done in the upcoming episodes. It mentioned which ones have a bracket key. So auto sluice and void mining, traversing the deep, and aquaculture are the other places. So we might sort of concentrate on looking at them next. So I am going to set stuff up and move into the new area, ready for the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye bye.